Welcome back, everybody, to the NBA 2K22 Miami A expansion series with the Scouts. And today, coming off of a massive 53-point win against the Brooklyn Nets, we're going to stay in New York this episode and take on the New York Knicks on the road at Madison Square Garden here on the 29th of November. Before we jump in, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Uh, I'm having so much fun doing this series and uh, getting likes and comments and uh, subscribers helps grow my channel. So I would greatly appreciate that. But all that being said, we're going to sim seven games today prior to our matchup against the Knicks. And then we're going to take on the first overall pick from the previous NBA draft. So we have finished simming and all of a sudden Weaver has another injury which it's becoming sort of a common theme for us these past couple of seasons. Now he has left knee tendonitis and will miss six to eight weeks, which I guess for us would be probably around three to four weeks, judging from how he recovers from injuries usually. But he is going to miss some time, including today's episode. So we're going to have to sub somebody else in, and that's going to be Devin Cartwright, who has had a fair share of starts in his time with the team thanks to uh, Weaver's previous injuries. So, Weaver will check out. We'll give Cartwright about 30 or so minutes. That uh, also means that I will bump up Kirk Banks' minutes up to around 30 off the bench. We'll increase Ananobis by a little bit despite him being a little bit tired. And we'll also give plenty of minutes to Mullen and Boston. I think we'll also bring Tyus Jones off of the bench and into uh, well, not off of the bench, but out of the reserves onto the bench. So he'll get some minutes off of uh, the seventh spot in our lineup. And in terms of scoring options, we'll change Weaver to Bowman. And then I think I want to probably just keep this at no preference uh, for now. But I could see us making Cartwright or Kirk Banks... Uh, the third scoring option in the absence of Weaver, but for now, it'll be Jordan and Bowman. So as you can see, we went 5-2 and two in these last seven sim games. These two games right here, I didn't show it, but uh, Jordan did break his right middle finger, I believe, and he played through it, and we lost both games in which he played through it, so... I think he had it during this game against the Grizzlies, and then he recovered here on the 23rd. We lost both both games, though, by double digits, but we did have overall a good last two weeks, and we go into this game against the Knicks with a pretty good record of 11-5, and five, four and a half games back, as are the Knicks from the Detroit Pistons, who we lost to on opening nights. They are 17-2 and two on the year they are officially back atop of the eastern conference and we definitely have work to do to catch up to them but the knicks are 12 and 6 and that's what we face today but before that we're going to check out these box scores and see what went right and what went wrong in these wins and losses so first we took down the raptors at home by a healthy margin of 22 points 25 10 and 9 for jordan won us a shy of a triple double Valentine goes for 21 and 14, a really good game for him. Weaver drops 26 and 13, so really good assist numbers there. 15 for Bowman, 14 for Cartwright, 12 for Kirk Banks. Meanwhile, the Raptors had 20 and 7 for Halliburton, 20 for Nicholson, John Morant, 18 points, 11 assists, but not much offense from non starters for the Raptors. Then we took down Memphis in an overtime thriller on the road. We won by 5, 140 to 135. Trey Young drops 37, 5 and 8. And Ruben Hunter drops 36, 5 and 8. So we somehow beat them while they put up these numbers. So who played well for us? It's Weaver dropping 31, 6 and 10. Bowman dropping 25, 4 and 7. Banks goes for 19 and 9. Jordan 18 points. Valentine 15 and 14. And Cartwright and Boston both get 10 points as well. 
Then we lost to the Dallas Mavericks on the road by 14 points. Luka Doncic, two assists shy of a triple-double. 24 points for Tucker and for Flowers. The scouts had 28 for Jordan, 21 for Bowman, and 12 for Weaver and Cartwright. Roy Valentine, 19 rebounds. Then we lost to the Orlando Magic by 20 points at home. 33 for Weaver, 13 for Bowman, 13 for Banks, just 12 for Jordan. 4 for 20 from the field, likely due to the broken finger that he was trying to play through. He did have three steals though, which is pretty nice and no turnovers, but not a good shooting night at all for Ronnie Jordan. The Magic had 23 and 8 for Jaron Jackson Jr. Cortez goes for 23 and Book Knight and Samuels each drop 14 and 4. Then we rebound with a nine point win against the Golden State Warriors at home. 28, five and eight for Jordan in his first scheme back from the broken finger. 22 for Bowman, 18 and 13 for Valentine, 17 for Banks, and 16 and 13 for Weaver, who has passed the ball really well this year, although this game he shot the ball pretty poorly. And the Warriors had 28 for Devin Booker and 22 and 10 for Scotty Barnes. Then we had a huge performance by Jordan and a huge margin of victory against the Timberwolves also at home. 43, five and seven for Ronnie Jordan, 15 for 24 from the field, hit 11 threes this game, only missed five. Roy Valentine, a big double-double. Kirk Banks goes for 15 points. Weaver, just 12, four and six. Bowman, nine and nine. And the Timberwolves had 18 for Jamal Harris who did swap spots with Bowman and a trade prior to last season. 16 for Keldon Johnson and 15 for Scott Justice. Our most recent game was a win on the road in Atlanta. We won by seven, but got outscored in the fourth quarter, allowing 41 points. So they, they almost came back, but their rally fell short. 27 here for Jalen Green, 15 for Toscano, 14 for Kobe White. Just 12, 6, and 6 for Nikola Jokic. The scouts had 19 for Bowman, 18 for Banks, 17 for Cartwright, just 16, 8, and 8 for Jordan, and a double-double as well for Roy Valentine. All that being said, here are the lineups for today's game. The starting lineups, Montgomery will start for New York. I have Ronnie Jordan guarding him today. We're going to be using the same exact defensive assignments for screens that we used against the Brooklyn Nets because we're trying to see if that can be a consistent game plan that will work for us. And the Knicks are actually a pretty good team this year. So let's go see how we do against a really good roster. The scouts enter Madison Square Garden off of a couple of wins in a row. Valentine wins the tip on Waters and here we go. And it will be a quick bucket inside off a great feed there by Ronnie Jordan. And we're going to see if Ronnie Jordan can show the rookie Zach Montgomery how it's done here in the NBA. Because he is going to be a future star of this league. But right now, the star of the league is this man right here, Ronnie Jordan. Bob on the shot clock. Jordan spins, fires a shot on a fadeaway and knocks it down. That's what I like to see right there. Murray O'Brien inside, blocked from behind by Roy Valentine. Now Jordan, a pull-up jumper over Montgomery. It's good. Four quick points there for Ronnie Jordan. And the scouts lead 6-0. O'Brien slips inside and gets a tough finish to go. Valentine that time was too late on the help. Ronnie Jordan, wide open three, top of the key, it's good. I love to see Ronnie Jordan being aggressive, getting open, and knocking down those shots because he needs to do that, especially without Weaver on the court. O'Brien, pull up jumper over, and an OB, no good. Bowman gets the miss. Bowman spins and has his shot blocked out of bounds by Stephen Waters, who is a really good center. He's actually... Probably a better version of Roy Valentine. We've seen a couple games against him, and in those games, he has really out-rebounded and just played much better defense than Roy Valentine, even though I love Roy. Ronnie Jordan misses that jumper off the inbound pass. Now R.J. Barrett on the other end gets inside and scores on a dunk. 
Gordon takes a screen, drives it, flies past whoever that is and gets inside for a dunk. That's actually Uzban Garuba, who we have seen plenty of times. O'Brien drives. The, the no-look layup, no good. Waters gets the board, but missed the layup. Roy Valentine playing some good defense there. Arnie Jordan, pick and roll, finds Bowman inside. Great play, and we lead 13 to four. We're off to a hot start on offense here. Zach Montgomery pulls the trigger, but it's too strong. And now Jordan throws a pass right to the hands of Waters. Garuba has his shot swatted by Big Roy. Jordan steps back, fires a three, but it rattles out, just missed. Murray O'Brien uses the screen and gets inside. Ronnie Jordan couldn't keep up with him. Bowman spins and fires and knocks down his first shot of the game. Actually, that was his first jump shot of the game, not his first shot, but I digress. Montgomery. Mismatch on Valentine, now back to O'Brien, guarded by Jordan, he fires a shot, that one is good, nothing but net. Bowman spins, fires a shot, it's blocked by Garuba. O'Brien cuts inside off the off-ball screen, has a wide open dunk. Great pass right there, great play call in general, and it's a five point game. Ronnie Jordan steps back off the glass and the shot is good. O'Brien pulls the trigger, but it's offline. Five on the clock for Kansas City. Cartwright has the ball. Montgomery covering. Cartwright at the elbow. Can't hit. Bryant takes a screen. We switch it. He steps back and fires and knocks it down. We jump ahead to the second quarter where it is still a five point game. Scouts lead 43 to 38. The Knicks have the ball. Guzman Garuba hits a tough jumper over Bowman and it's now a one score game. The Scouts won the first quarter 35 25 and they're trying to hold on to that lead until halftime as Bowman can't get to the alley oop pass by Jordan. And now Gardner, a quick three. It's good in transition. It's tied at 43 apiece. Ronnie Jordan with the ball. Tough layup. Can't finish, but he was fouled by Evans. Fans don't like the call by the referee. Jordan, 18 first half points. That free throw is good. Make it 19. And Jordan is now halfway to 40. There's still seven minutes to go here in the first half. O'Brien fades away. That shot, no good. That'll be three seconds. And now a defensive three-second violation on Evans. That will give Jordan another free throw. We will also keep the ball. Jordan misses the free throw, though. It's too strong. Up on the clock for Cartwright. He lost the ball. It's stolen by Garuba after a poke out by O'Brien. Now O'Brien gets open. That shot off the glass and in. We're tied again at 45. He's got 16 points here in the first half. Bowman. Another shot of his is blocked by Garuba. O'Brien finds Evans inside on the cut. And the Knicks take their first lead of the game. Bowman fading away, can't knock it down, but Valentine is there to tip it back in. Tyson Gardner fades away on a three and knocks it down. That was wide open. Time cutting down for the scouts. Jordan has it. He spins, fires a shot that's blocked by Barrett. Knicks take over thanks to a shot clock violation. Gardner takes a screen, steps back, has a mismatch on Bowman now. Trying to work on him, can't get past him, pulls the trigger and missed the shot. Bowman spins, can't muscle off 
Garuba, but it does not matter to the shot goes in either way. He's got seven points and five boards. O'Brien attacks the rim with a mismatch on Cartwright and got the bucket to go. He's been pretty good this first half. Gordon awaits for a screen, takes it, drives, and has his shot blocked off the glass by Evans. Gardner slips past Cartwright and scores. Five-point lead for New York. They have shot 63%. Gordon waits for a screen, but time is counting down. He finds Valentine inside for the finish over R.J. Barrett. Barrett with the ball, guarded by Valentine. He pump fakes, goes to O'Brien. Time counting down for New York. He has to fire a contested three. That's no good. And Jordan inside, posterizes R.J. Barrett with a reverse slam. 22 first half points. For the former MVP and reigning MVP, Ronnie Jordan. Riley inside. Can't finish, but drew the foul on Kirk Banks' second. First free throw is good. And Dana Riley goes two for two at the line. It's back to a three-point game as Mullen checks in for the scouts. Cartwright finds a lane, gets inside, easy finger roll. Riley lobs it for Waters inside, got past Mullen, had the advantage, and that's just a really good pass right there. Cartwright penetrates once again and gets the tough finish to go. O'Brien fading away, too strong though. Jordan, double team coming, finds Cartwright. Now for Banks, wide open, triple, it's good. And that puts the scouts back in front by two. Gardner hits a tough one over Jordan. We're tied at 60, a high scoring affair in this first tap, just back and forth the entire way. Double screen for Cartwright, he flies past Gardner, in for a wide open dunk. Time cutting down it here in the first half. Last shot of the quarter. Riley for three. Left it short. No good. The scouts lead by two. 62 to 60. And a very fun game here at Madison Square Garden. All right. Just below seven to go here in this third quarter. Five minutes have passed and... The Knicks now lead by one, 68-67. A low scoring quarter so far, but still plenty of time left. Ias Jones lobs in for Jordan, a one-handed slam. And that puts the scouts back in front by one. Ronnie Jordan having one of the best games of the season and of his career right now, as O'Brien drives and missed the layup. Good defense by Graves to force the miss. Jones takes the screen, drives inside the floater off the glass and through. Three point lead now for Kansas City. Tyus Jones, a plus minus of 11 in his first game of the year, I believe, where he actually has meaningful minutes. Evans now for three. He missed it, it was wide open though. Jordan steps into a shot and hits. The Knicks call a timeout down by five. Tyson Gardner spins, pulls up, but it's too strong. Antonio Graves drives and gets the bucket. Love to see him get aggressive inside because that is where he is his best. Tom cutting down. Matt Manning with the ball. Has to fire the shot. It's contested. No good. So Jordan and Cartwright and Bowman all checked out right now. A bunch of role players in there. But Mullen gets inside and scores. Great feed there by Tyus Jones. We're going to see if these role player guys can really step up and hold their own while our star players are all taking a rest. Waters, spins, fires, no good. BJ Boston drives and gets the tough finish. Make it an 11-point lead for Kansas City. Things have 
crumble these last couple of minutes for New York as they call timeout again. Manning misses the shot. And now Mullen cuts in, scores another great pass there by Tyus Jones. Time cutting down. Gardner fires a three. Offline again. A cold spell for the entire Knicks offense. Boston pulls up. Manning off a screen. Fires out the elbow. Another shot that is offline for New York. And some boos are now trickling in from the home crowd. Antonio Graves won't give up. He attacks the rim and draws the foul on Tyson Gardner, his first. That puts us in the bonus for the remainder of this quarter. Graves has 11 points, now make it 12. And he knocks down both as Cartwright checks in in place of BJ Boston. Riley hands off to Evans. Great pick and roll right there. And they finally get a shot to drop. And Anobi checks in off of a dead ball. Cartwright has to jack up a contested three. But he knocks it down in the face of Tyson Gardner. Garter to answer, can't knock it down. Gaines gets the board though. It has a three point play on his hands thanks to a foul and the and one. Free throw by Gaines is good. It's a 13 point lead for the scouts. Kirk Banks, pass, thrown right to Gardner. He tipped it and Evans got the steal. Gains to Waters, the little fade away, a one-handed push shot is up and in. Mismatch for Mullen, Cartwright finds him, he backs down Gardner, spins and got past him for the easy bucket. Great job inside. Riley attacks the basket, tough floater, no good. Cartwright spins and fires a contested jumper, which is offline. Gardner spins, has the open look, but can't knock it down. Last shot of the quarter will be for the scouts. Cartwright with it. Contested jumper again, no good, and that will cap off a fantastic third quarter by the scouts. We increase our lead from 2 to 13 as we lead 88 to 75 with 12 minutes to play. Fourth quarter now, and there are eight minutes to play as Boston has a couple of free throws right now. Scouts lead 95-82 with the free throws pending. The first one is good. The second, also good, so actually a three-shot foul. And Boston knocks in all three. The Scouts have had quite a bit more free throws than... Their counterparts, which will be sure to give the fans uh, a couple of questions about the bias of the refs here, but I don't believe it. RJ Barrett's blocked by Bowman, but Garuba got it back. Now O'Brien's contested three, it rattles out, and Valentine gets the board this time. Jordan, nice hand off to Valentine, who got the bucket and the foul. The fifth on Garuba. Boston checks out, and an OB checks in. Valentine can cap off this three point play, which he does. Barrett lost the ball, and Cartwright forces the jump ball. Barrett not happy about it, clearly. And the jump ball will go to Devin Cartwright. Nice hops. Jordan hands off to Ananobi. Corner three, left it short. 
Mario Bryan drives and dunks all over Darius Bowman, who was just standing still, watching him fly towards him. Jordan's got 29. O'Brien's got 20. That was his first basket of the second half. Jordan attacks the rim and can't finish. Good defense there by R.J. Barrett. Now a wide open jumper for Zach Montgomery, the first overall pick who has been relatively quiet in this one. The Knicks have shot 34% here in the second half and that is why the scouts have only increased their lead since halftime. Cartwright throws it right to Waters. Fast break for Barrett. Jordan can't catch up in time. Bowman fades away. Tough shot. It rattles out. Montgomery fades away. The shot can't go in off the glass, but Garuba is there for the putback. We call timeout as that is a 8-0 run by the Knicks. Cartwright attacks the rim and gets the tough finger roll over Montgomery. Really good finish right there. He's got 15 points in his first start of the season. Time cutting down. Montgomery has the ball. Yes, a jack of a contested shot. And an OB finds Jordan. Corner three. Jordan knocks it down. What a game Roddy Jordan has had. He's been fantastic, and that's why he is the player of the game. Montgomery, again, time counting down. He pulls up. Can't hit that one. Waters gets the board and puts it back in. 14-point game. And an OB feeds Bowman. He fades away, but put a bit too much mustard on that one. O'Brien throws it right to Valentine. Great steal. Fast break for Jordan. The layup is no good. Really good defensive recovery there by New York thanks to Usman Garuba. Now Montgomery, a three, had some space. Can't knock it down. And RJ Barrett call for a loose ball foul. That will give us a couple of free throws. Or not, even though we're in the bonus. Cartwright off a screen, finds a lane, gets inside and dunks. Screen for Gardner, he gets some space, pulls up, and it's too strong. A lot of shots that could go in are not going in for New York, and the scouts' defense has been playing pretty well. Bowman spins, fires, and knocks it down this time. It's back to an 18-point lead for Kansas City. And under three to play, this game might as well be over. And now a steal for Jordan. That will wrap up this game. And it was a really great second half showing by this team. Good offense in both halves, but much a better defense in the second half. Just 37 points allowed after halftime. A really good, well-deserved victory here on the road in Madison Square Garden. A final score of 112 to 97. The Scouts move to 12 and 5 on the year, and they will move above the Knicks into second place in the Eastern Conference in the early stages of the season. The Scouts get their fourth straight win, this time against New York. Murray O'Brien, 25 and six, but he shot pretty poorly, 10 for 24 from the field. Uzman Garuba, 17 and nine. Tyson Gardner, 16 points. Zach Montgomery, not much to show for his game today. Uh, did not play that well. Didn't play poorly either, but not a day to look back on fondly for him. The scouts get 32, 6-6 six six for Ronnie Jordan, 12 for 20 from the field. He was fantastic. Cartwright goes for 17 points. He got to the rim very well this game. Bowman, 14 points, 11 rebounds. Graves, 13 points. And the scouts win by 15. Really good second half defense. And that does put us past the Knicks for second place in the conference. 
Still four games back from Detroit. But that wraps up the episode, folks. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment your own thoughts down below. And until next time, take care and go Scouts.